So in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about the Delta Vega Props body that we're providing. Well, when we provide everything, but just the body, not so much electronics. A lot of the things I've been talking about focus on the electronics and assembly, but what about the body? So here we go. Greetings, Dave here, DCB Facts. Still working through this, you know, got the uh, the got the pod mic going and the podcaster. It's coming together much better. Uh, the audio is coming through phenomenally, which is great. And anyway, I want to talk a bit about you know, what you need to do or what the body is going to look like when you get it. So let me just show you that here. So I wanted to go into what goes into the Delta Vega Props Mark Six. That Mark Six VI Six Mark Six body. Now this is nothing to do with electronics, and that's a whole other video when that comes together. But this is just what the body is. Now I have printed this and then resin smoothed it, so I'm going to just give you a quick rundown on it. So you've got the body here, and then the back. Now you will need some magnets to go in here. Um, I don't have the size handy, but it's just a magnet there, and then the magnet also in these holes here so and then you're able to get that in and then you have the door i get this more in the frame here and then in the door you have these two pieces that go in like that also you have the top head or the sensor head assembly and then these parts here go into the assembly. So this goes into here. The green go into the higher ones. The red go into the lower ones. This red piece goes right in there. And then you have the yellow for there and the blue for there and the clear sensor ray there. Into the door you have this goes in there and that piece goes get this in the frame here right in there and then you have two other small pieces you have this one and this one and they go into these spots right here now some people when they've assembled them and I did this too uh, when I assembled some of these they put them in upside down so this is made to go in underneath This in here, right? Like that. And then the same with the other piece. They go in like that, and then the light, um, the lights from the the boards go in that way. Also, with that, uh, I've cut a few vinyl pieces. This goes on to the blue, and these. I'm sure you can see them around. Let me pull them up so they're a little better. These are. See them sorted there. They just go on top of here. Rather than having you paint it, which I did one, it's a pain to get it nice. I just cut some vinyls the right size. It just goes on. It gives you a much nicer look. Can I get that in focus? Like that, rather than having it painted. And then the last bit is the, uh, the graphics that go here. And here. So that is what you're going to get. Oh, also, and the hinges too. And one of the thing I've done with the hinges is see this here at all. I've notched them. See that there? What I found in making, you know, four or five or six of these, I found that it works so much better when you get this into the body and you just put a, a dab of solder on that and then you can solder the wires directly to it rather than having to do a surface mount because a surface mount on these is a pain to try and get to the stick just because any movement's going to cause it to try and pull off so by doing that it gives you something really solid i haven't had a problem with it since now give me a second here let me just assemble this and then be able to see what it looks like with it all together so there it is there with the various pieces put in place and we got it here now the green bar here just doesn't want to stay in i could tape it in but you know you're going to want to secure that yourself but there's all the pieces sitting in there and there's your full sensor assembly and all that's left to do is then 
these little pieces. I'm not going to put that in because you've got to wire things in anyway. Same with those. So that is what the kit is going to look like when you get it. This is just resin smooth and primed. So this is not by any means ready. You need to give it a coat, uh, like give it a sanding, and then give it your own coat of paint and go from there. But that's what the kit is going to consist of. So that is what the kit is going to be like once it is all fully available. Uh, we're still sort of figuring out what's working best. And I ran a few hiccups with the LED version, so I'm plugging through that. But that is what the body is. Now, this particular body that, that I just showed off is going to be at the Toronto Sci-Fi, let me get this right, Expo on August 20th in uh, Etobicoke, Canada. So if you're in the area, in the Toronto area or anywhere nearby and you want to come check it out, you definitely can. I think it's $10 at the door and I'm going to have a lot of my stuff there. If you look at a lot of tricorders, maybe not the LED version, but a lot of tricorders look at. Jerry's going to be there with some boards. He's actually building one of these as well. I sent him a body that he's working on. I've got my hypo. I've got my pad. I've got all these things I've made over the last several years. I've got my Star-Lord helmet. I've got my guns. I'm going to bring a lot of the stuff I've made uh, because one of the sponsors is Max Solutions, where I got all my printers from. And they've been really great at sending me things to review. So I want to give them a good shout out. So I'm going to basically tell people at my table, everything here was printed on a Max Solutions printer. So yeah, like, what? that was 3D printed. That was 3D printed. So this body, as I say, this is going to be in the raffle. You actually be able to raffle you know, you have, with raffle tickets. If you're there, you will be able to bid on this or put your, not even bid, put your tickets in and hopefully you get lucky and pulled out. It's going to be this with a set of electronics from GM Props. So we're going to have that, well, prop, I guess uh, Delta Vigor Props as well. But it's going to be there. You're going to have all that available to possibly win and we'll see and then if you have any questions you can obviously ask me while i'm there about it i will be doing a demonstration sort of on how to assemble this as well so that is today's video hope everyone's having a great day we'll talk to you all later